This video will include the techniques required to create a furniture floor plan. We will be using duplicate with detailing, placing components, making a model group, and creating a view template. The first thing that we want to do here is create the actual view. To do that, I'm going to do duplicate with detailing on the ground floor floor plan. I'll right click on the view, duplicate view, and duplicate with detailing. So I don't confuse this with any other view. I'm going to go ahead and rename it right away. I'll right click, go to rename. And I'm going to call this ground floor furniture. Now we can add the furniture to our exam rooms. To add the furniture, I'm going to go through and use the component tool from architecture component. And then we'll find the components we want to use from the type selector. The first one is going to be the equipment bed stretcher. And I'll go ahead and place this in the first room. I'm also going to use a casework family that'll be typical in all the rooms. This one's not oriented the correct way, so I can use the spacebar tool to rotate it. Now that I have the two pieces of furniture placed, I could select them both and add them to a model group. I'll start by selecting the bed, holding down control and clicking to select the casework. And then I'll create a group. I'm going to call this group exam room because this is going to be the typical layout for all my exam rooms. Now that I have the model group created for the exam room, I can go ahead and I can place this in the other rooms. I'm just using the mirror and copy tools to place these items in the different rooms. The next thing we'll do is we'll take a look at our ground floor, regular floor plan. And you can see these elements are still shown here. What I could do is I can turn off those categories in this view so that they don't show, but then I can have them set to show in the other one. Visibility and graphic overrides, I can turn off casework and specialty equipment and furniture and furniture systems because those are the elements that I'm going to want to show in my furniture or my equipment plan. Back to my furniture plan, what I can do is I can go ahead and now I can create a view template that is specific to this view. I'll go to the View tab. On the left-hand side, you'll see View Templates. And then I'll say Create Template from Current View. And then I'll give it a name. Now I've created a Furniture Plan View Template. Next thing I want to do is make sure that all of the different items are included. Everywhere you see a checkbox here, that means that that particular parameter will be included in that view template. I want to go ahead and include everything for this one, so I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now that I have the view template, I want to make sure that it's assigned to this view. In the view properties, under identity data, you can see here view template says none. I'll go ahead and click on that, select furniture plan, and hit OK.